aftermath of the quake. Buildings damaged across a wide area. The quake struck at just before 8 o'clock in the morning, local time. The force of it made the earth move at up to 10 centimeters per second. In Ya'an city, the tremor was so strong, some people barely had time to escape. We didn't have time to check out or take things. I barely had time to glance at the clock. The three of us, my daughter, my grandson and I were hiding in the bathroom. We couldn't stand still. I felt we could be thrown out of the window. We just moved up to the seventh floor. A powerful earthquake has killed more than 150 people and injured several thousand in China's rural southwest. The 6.6 magnitude tremor sent people fleeing for buildings across Sichuan province. Villages close to the epicenter in Lushan County were left in ruins. Thousands of troops have been sent to Sichuan and the country's prime minister has arrived in the area. Rescuers have been able to pull some survivors out of the rubble, but recovery efforts are being hampered by aftershocks and landslides. There is a big earthquake coming to China. Very soon we will see it in Japanese NHTV. We'll see it on Chinese CCTV. We'll see it on CNN Al Jazeera BBC. The Lord already took me there. Two days ago. And I saw the earthquake. It will flatten build it will flatten buildings. Hovering high above the mountainous Lushan County, rescuers finally reach isolated parts of the quake zone. Travelling with them, Premier Li Qishang saw for himself the full extent of the devastation and the anguish of the survivors. But this is no small task. The epicentre was near Yan City, where one and a half million people live. And in other parts, villages were reportedly flattened in the magnitude 6.6 .6 jolt. Villages were reportedly flattened in the magnitude 6.6 .6 jolt. Quite a number of people have been killed, varying reports from 56 up to about 70 at the moment. About 2,000 soldiers have been deployed to the area uh, and a general, the Chinese general who's been flying over the region in a helicopter has told local reporters that he's seen uh, a huge number, perhaps 50% of the houses in one area uh, have been almost completely flattened. 50% of the houses in one area uh, have been almost completely flattened.
praise the Lord, prophet of the Lord. And then Joanne, praise the Lord. Now, this is what the Lord says. Um, I see a very, very heavy, massive, and historic earthquake coming to the earth. There is going to be a very, very severe earthquake visit the earth. And I see many, many stones, rubble, rubble of stones and blocks, buildings brought down into stones. Again, I see a massive earthquake coming to this planet that bears the name Earth. And I see the flattening of severe of buildings in a severe way. And I see a lot of Chinese people. And the Lord has already taken me there. I have lived that day. Now, the voice of the Lord is speaking over Asia. The mighty voice of the Lord is now on Asia. And there is going to be a historic earthquake come to China. It was a Chinese-speaking people. So the Lord is asking that these Chinese-speaking people, before the earthquake comes to them, let them repent and turn away from sin. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the glorious coming of the Messiah. So powerful, it shook the earth at least 10 centimeters per second. Survivors say it rumbled on for a long, terrifying minute. Many people didn't have time to escape. It's been a frantic effort to rescue people trapped for hours within what's left of their homes. Buildings pancaked under the force of the tremor, but amidst the death and heartbreak. Uh, this, as you were pointing out, was a powerful earthquake, uh, and the earthquake could be felt for hundreds of kilometers away. Yeah? Uh, two towns seem to have been particularly badly hit. I was just watching the state-run uh, broadcast, and they were showing pictures of debris on the road. for the coming of the Messiah that's why my words are being fulfilled and those are the signs in the Bible that the Lord gave in Matthew chapter 24 that when the nations of the earth will see then they will prepare for the coming of the Messiah